You know, for a group of young people that have served countless hours and helped hundreds and dozens of people, uh, what they are learning is the ability to see the world through somebody else's eyes uh, and to stand uh, in somebody else's shoes. And that strikes me as the most important quality that we need in America right now and around the world right now. You know, if, you, if you think about uh, so much of the conflict, uh, the war, uh, the cruelties uh, that we've been witnessing, so much of it seems to have to do with the inability of people to recognize themselves in somebody else. Uh, so they see a village where there's no electricity and no running water and uh, people who speak a different language and who are illiterate and look differently uh, than they are. And the assumption is, well, they are not part of my life, uh, that I have no connection to them. And what a program like this does is it s makes young people recognize these people are, in fact, like me. They're my brothers and my sisters. And the young people who have had that experience will then bring that back to Chicago. Uh, and it may make them think differently about folks closer to home on the south side of Chicago or on the west side of Chicago or uh, in uh, the Latino community or the Asian American community. And it helps to stitch together uh, this country in a way that uh, uh, has been the unique promise of America for so many generations. So I can't think of a more important uh, and more useful gift uh, to give our young people uh, than that lesson. Uh, because when you think about history's greatest architects, uh, it's been those who have applied that lesson in their own lives. That's what's built our civilization whether it's the abolitionists who shuttled slaves to freedom along the Underground Railroad, or the villagers in Europe who opened their basements and attics to save untold thousands from Auschwitz, or the students who poured out of their colleges uh, and onto buses to travel down south and help people register to vote for the first time, or the Berliners who tore down a wall to find the freedom on the other side, or Rwandans who sheltered their fellow countrymen, seeing them as humans who deserved to live rather than tribes that deserved extermination. Yeah, those acts of moral courage continue to ripple across the world. And now, as we're preparing through programs like Building with Books, uh, the activists and leaders uh, and doers of the next generation, uh, I would say to those young people that it is going to be your turn to keep uh, a rippling effect uh, throughout your lives and the life of your country.